My name is Emma Friedman. I'm 14 years old and I live in Santa Cruz, California. I'm a conservationist and teen activist working to save the orangutans. I learned about them when I was 10 years old and I visited Borneo for the first time. Over the past century, Borneo has lost over 60% of its forest, released gigatons of carbon into the atmosphere, and suffered the loss of tens of thousands of endangered orangutans. But now, we are at a turning point. Wilmar, the world's largest trader of palm oil, published a no deforestation, no peat, no exploitation policy in December 2013, and other companies are following their lead. What does this mean for the orangutans and the Bornean rainforests? This study predicts the effects of the policy on the sustainability of orangutan populations. This is the second year of a study on orangutan sustainability. I used a density-dependent logistics simulation written in Python to mathematically model 36 orangutan habitats and their populations in 11 different scenarios. Each scenario had varying levels of logging, reforestation, and poaching, with stochastic insertions of catastrophes and bonanzas. I then analyzed each habitat and saw that the Wilmar Plan is essential for orangutan conservation, but only if poaching is reduced. Having a first-hand experience of the orangutan's crisis awakened me to the destruction of our planet. I want to inspire other young people to take action for the environment as well. Saving this species is possible, but it will require industry, scientists, lawmakers, and consumers to work together before it's too late.